Hello, my name is Dr. Mazor Yoav and I will speak about interproximal reduction. Interproximal reduction is a common procedure performed in the orthodontic treatment. IPR is used to assist resolve crowding cases, improve black triangles between teeth, and improve crown proportions. Today, CAT CAM systems require a very controlled IPR. The most frequent means to use for IPR are metal discs, metal strips, and diamond burrs. Metal strip and disc allow minimal control reduction, but on the other hand, they present some disadvantages as discomfort to the patient and risk of soft tissue injury and damage. Diamond burrs are more comfortable mean for the patient and doctor but the existing bird diameters obligate to IPR perpendicular to the long axis of the teeth, so only the small diameter at the bird tip is used, and the IPR is not well controlled. When the burr is perpendicular to the long axis of the teeth, the visualization and hand stability are compromised, and there is a high risk for uncontrolled and ununiform reduction. Performing IPR with the burr parallel to the long axis of the teeth is more recommended. The separation movement is more natural to the doctor. There is an excellent finger rest which provides optimal hand stability. There is excellent walking field visualization and the reduction is uniform and when controlled. The E11S is a new and innovative diamond burr for IPR. Its small diameter of 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters and its length allow stripping IPR parallel to the long axis of the teeth. The unique diamond coating allows smooth and safe reduction of enamel. The burr can be used for anterior and for posterior. The procedure is advised to be performed at least six weeks after bracket bonding. At this time, the teeth show increased mobility. It is not advised to IPR overlapping teeth due to the risk for uneven reduction. At first stage, place a wood wedge. The wedge will tip away the teeth to be reducted, and the contact tank will be weakened or even slightly opened. This tipping of the teeth allow easier walking with the burr, decreased reduction of 0.1 to 0.15 mm and more uniform reduction. Now I speak about my technique for interproximal reduction, which I have found to be very safe, efficient and controlled way to do interproximal reduction. The contact points of the teeth are usually more to the lingual side of the teeth. So it is better to start IPR from the lingual side when it's possible. Proceed with the light, continuous movement with the burr. If there is resistance, it is best to proceed with light push-stop movements. It is best to try to avoid as much as possible to repeat the buccal-lingual movements. In case of several errors to be IPR, it is best to proceed one area at a time. When the procedure is completed, remove the wedge. It is important to measure and register the IPR.
Thank you for your attention. Good luck and enjoy your interproximal reduction.